first uh, give thanks to the mayor, uh, the great Mayor Ruben Diaz, who has been an inspiration for uh, Latinos, not only throughout the state, but throughout the nation. Uh, many of you may not realize this. I think uh, Hector Bonilla may, because he's like a walking encyclopedia. <laughs> But to my knowledge, um, Mayor Diaz is the first Puerto Rican female mayor ever elected in the mainland in U.S. history. I, I think that deserves a lot of credit, not only uh, as Latinos, but also for women that, you know, that are going to school and say, you know, one day I want to grow up to be just like Mayor Diaz. Because if you know, you know, can you become a mayor in the mainland, then I can do it too. I can graduate high school, I can go to college, and I can one day aspire. So, uh, so thank you, Mayor, for being an inspiration uh, for, for Latino. I, of course, also need to give thanks to Asheville, who, uh, who's, who's idea and vision uh, of putting the, the East Cafe Legends event uh, together, I think, is, is, uh, is a great idea because uh, this is an opportunity for uh, all of us to network, to find out what all professionals are and what we do and how we can actually work and collaborate. Um, I often uh, find myself in the uh, M&A business. Uh, some people know that as mergers and acquisitions, but I also like to uh, refer to that as uh, mergers and acquisitions within the community, you know, where we can get uh, people together to, uh, to see uh, how we can find synergies in our professions. You know, uh, Latinos that are in banking, those that are in teaching, those who are attorneys and business people in other areas, uh, so that we can understand how we can find, uh, uh, you know, best collaborative practices. And I think that uh, these Cafe Con Leche events are absolutely stellar. So, so thank you as well for, uh, for giving a big applause. <laughs> I, um, I also have to say I love her family. Um, Many times I've been here for, for uh, you know for many events, and it's always uh, an incredible pleasure uh, you know to be here. And so I want to thank you for uh, you know for being here on uh, on a Wednesday night. Uh, I, I'll, I'll I'm not going to speak too much, uh, and, and hopefully Hector he'll give me the sign of success. You know? <laughs> uh, and and by the way, I gotta say Hector, I hope I don't embarrass him, but. But he is, when I say he's a walk encyclopedia, he is one of the most knowledgeable people that I know about Latino history uh, throughout the Americas and anyone that I've ever seen. Um, I, if, you know, when people call me, whether in Washington or elsewhere, you know, I, I, I say, listen, if you want the details, go to, go to, go to Professor Bonita because, <laughs> you know, because, you know, it's incredible. And he'll give you all the details so they're almost, you know, it's incredible. But I also say that because, what, what Hector has done, and, and what many of you have done, is you learn the art of mastery uh, in what you do and what your craft is. And, and that's going to be one of the uh, topics of what I want to discuss. And that is, the, and that is uh, being uh, a master in what you do. Uh, going deep into in, in, in your profession and, uh, and being the best that you can be. Um, I, uh, I got to tell you that, that uh, to be who I am today, is a, it, it's... It's a blessing, and I say that not to uh, impress you, but also to impress upon you that when you hear about where I started, you'll it, it's a it, you probably won't believe it. I mean, I uh, started off working uh, at Pizza Hut, and um, and I was uh, and I wanted to work on Wall Street, and so I went to all the big Wall Street firms, and uh, and none of them would hire me, and so I took a job working in the mail room at the Old King Web, which is now UBS Financial. And uh, and so I took that one, and they said, "Well, sit, you know, you know, you don't have a chance. You didn't go to Harvard. You didn't go to Yale. You didn't go to Princeton. Uh, and and so you can compete against against these individuals." And I said, "No, um, I I always learned that um, you know when you when you put your mind and your vision on something, anything is possible. I'm here to tell you that there is nothing that any of you can't do when you set your mind and decide that this is a this is a must, and this is where your path is. And so I made a decision to quit my pizza job and take a mailroom job uh, at, uh, at, at, at uh, Payne Weber at the time. And I have to tell you that um, I, I 
I looked at that as my key. I knew that once I got in, that the whole wide world was gonna open. But I also had another issue that I had to address. And that is, is that I couldn't speak publicly. I was a chronic stutterer. And you know, anyone that knows a student like that uh, will tell you that getting, uh, getting them to speak is one thing. Getting them in front of our group is a whole nother. But I made a decision that, because they said, you know, you can't work on Wall Street because you can't speak publicly. Uh, you didn't go to an Ivy League school. You have all these other challenges, and you're a black, black Latino. Uh, and so you're going to have all these different barriers. And, and so I made a decision that, you know, this is an opportunity for all of us to be uh, pioneers in, in, in what area that, uh, that you go, that, that you uh, uh, decide to, uh, uh, to be professional. And so I made a decision that I said, you know, I'm going to go for it. And so I did that. And so the first thing I did is I competed in this thing called the National Investment Challenge, uh, sponsored by USA Today. And they had 9,000 participants that uh, were speaking stocks. And so I took every stock book that I could, because my, my job was to master it, was just to understand it. And out of 9,100 participants in that one, well, actually North America, US, Canada, uh, and, and Mexico, um, I placed 77 in the country, which put me in the top 1%. Uh, 